with the enchantress, that is me, the babbler, that is me, on this evolutionary, revolutionary ride that is happening at this time. Um, the revival. The song is pretty. Although it's kind of sad. Because it's the revival. just have to get through the babbles <laughs> in order to figure it out for yourself whatever that's going to be for you so although these messages are timeless the influence of the full moon is actively in like full moon bloom effect that I don't care that they say the full moon is on Monday, which we are in Saturday. Okay, it's Saturday. Um, okay, and um, you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. Um, just the intensity, the dynamic of it, and just, you know, if you take the moment to go yin, because you got to go yin for your wins, you know what I mean? So that you can yang in accordance to the yin particles that exist within you that speak your truth. The yin in me is the one that develops the speech for the yang aspect of myself. You know, that ripples out into this shared universe of a galactic enterprise that each of us are awakening to this revival of everything that we are, right? So, whew. Okay, the things that pile up over time, whether we focus just on this timeline of life that has many timelines within it, because, you know, we live in a multidimensional kind of system that is orchestrated through many orchestrations of many circuits and many wires and many vines and many wines, too, <laughs> you know, so here we are full blue moon this purification time in western astrology I believe it is said that the full moon is going to be in Virgo and just going with that dynamic of just the Virgo quest of purification at its best to to be the grounding nurturing earthly um, important validated factor in this world that needs the purification so there's truth and wisdom and it's causing us to really look at things you know to really look at things as they are not how you want them to be and granted we are manifesting and we are wanting a certain level of things to be made manifest you see um, for our reality the more that we align with truth that exists within the yin aspect of ourselves that is that we're getting to know 
like you know we're having it grow like this full bloom lotus flower that we are out of the mucky muddy waters emerges this beautiful lotus that carries in it so much beauty potential and just glamour to create this magnificent um This magnificent existing thing that catches the eyes of all. So here we are. I just pulled, I didn't even mean to pull from this stuff. But that's interesting too. Because this is the vice versa tarot. I thought I grabbed something else, and so I'm just like picking ran at random the cards that are here. And then I pick up, I like the vice versa deck because it gives you two sides to, it's like, you know, the flip side to every kind of coin of a reality that can exist. And, you know, so you can, I like that you can shuffle it all crazy and stuff um, because whichever side it lands on has, you know, insight for you, something for you to look at too. And so the side that it landed on was this four of cups here, ships. And then a ship, the waters, and all the cups are, like, spilled on the ground. And so, like, these foundations are down. But there's a ship coming in or sailing out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just looking at the picture. I'm not going off of the um, meaning of it in the book. I'm just going off of, you know, intuition. You know, which is also another thing that you could be more mindful of for you, too like in your own experience so please listen to what it is that i'm about to say like everyone's experience is going to be their own experience um my experience and my ability or my sharing in my experience is not so that you go and you um you artificially inseminate yourself with <laughs> with doing your your um stuff your tasks your practices your you know it, it's not shared so that you go and you replicate you like you become a replica of what it is that i'm sharing based off of my own experience you know if it works for you then hey that's great you know what i'm saying that's wonderful we should connect in every kind of way that way that's why we have you know certain kind of you know sports and just crafts and things that we all can partake in together you know unified and and building things together creating things together you know these things that we can do but we also are individuals too with our own interests and um unique you know um qualities that you know may not be the same as everybody else so like whatever what was the whole point of that what was I saying? <laughs> oh, you know, if you watch any of my videos, if you're new here, please know that you can expect this a lot, my dears, when the human tunes into the channel and it's just like, uh, which way did I go, George? <laughs> I'll regroup and I'll get into, like, you know, what it is that I was saying to you, but, you know, sometimes I don't and I always um, advise and always encourage those that do tune in to these messages and stuff like that, um, that if there's anything that I ever leave, like, hanging or just not, like, just unfulfilled and you want me to finish or further elaborate on, please do share in the comments, contact me so that I know and I'm aware, you see, I may not answer and respond right away, like, I am always, like, you know, I'm just traveling, you know, gypsy, <laughs> so, um, yeah, what can I say, um, but yeah, what was I saying? So, shoot. 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 I don't... <laughs> That's why it's a channel, folks. It's a channel. What's the difference between a channel and the human? A channel's flow. The human thinks too damn much. The human has creates, you know, these walls, these blocks, these obstacles, these things. Channel is just flow. 
So when you get into that flow, like, you know, you see somebody in their flow, like, it's not nice to interrupt it. Because, you know, to get it back takes requires a level of, you know, focus. And I'm doing a lot of things right now, including driving. <laughs> so, whatever. I said they sent the babbler to do this and they crazy. Okay, so, yeah. So, here we are. Like, so, I see these. It is four, right? Yeah, four. So, foundations of love. Built, unfulfilled. The ships have sailed, or the ships are sailing away. And dependent on the level of where you are in your mind, body, heart, and soul state, determines which side of the view you choose to be on are you on that ship sailing away going off into a bright and new day or are you the cup um unfulfilled spilt and this dude behind here like thinking that Thinking that I'm sorry, it's just I'm here where I'm supposed to be, and um, there's just a little, you know, stuff going on over there. The police. So, um, Four of Cups energy right now, turning into truth somehow. It requires a level of effort somehow from others to, to do for you what you deserve for them to do. And effort goes a long way, you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't mean to take those. I don't know where effort came in, but that's pretty interesting. You see, I just want to look at the Four of Cups four of chalices there looking out to sea through the young man's eyes we see a ship outward bound disappearing into the fog the sad empty cups abandoned on the shore are evo are ev evocative of disappointed dreams and lost hopes the young man has missed the boat when you get the side in a reading don't dwell on missed opportunities you're in danger of letting your hurt feelings blind you to new offers and chances Inui can turn into depression which perhaps perpetrates itself and can be difficult to shake off allow yourself to imagine something wonderful coming over the horizon are you ready to accept a cup of happiness so yeah a matter of perception you see ships sailed or are you sailing off you know what i mean namaste